Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here, hi, my name is Arif and I'm a student at ESSEC Business School enrolled in the Grand Decol MIM program. And today's video is something that you all have been requesting for quite some time. A packing video. What to pack when coming to France. Now because of the general nature of this video, this is not restricted to students only coming to France, but if you're coming to Europe, UK, US or Canada, you might even be able to benefit from this video. So without wasting any further time, I want to jump right into this video. So let's start with the first and my favorite category of all, the tech category. Now before telling you about any of the products in this category, I just want to give you a disclaimer that all of these products are based on my use cases and my needs and my priorities. So please feel free to add, subtract any item depending upon your use case and how much luggage you want to bring with yourself. Yeah, so in the tech slash electronics category, uh, the first thing that I brought is obviously my laptop, uh, my camera, all its equipments, uh, my hard disks, my uh, cables, the power banks, and two of the most important things in this category, the extension cord and the plug converter. Now, since you're a college student, it doesn't matter which laptop you have, be it a Windows laptop or a Mac laptop, both will suffice your requirements. Uh, and by the way, ESSEC does uh, give you a subscription to Microsoft Office tools. So yeah, do check that out. Now here for the charger though, and not just for your laptops, but also for your phone charger or any other electronic device, you need a compatible socket. So here I would suggest to get an extension cord back from home so that you can plug all your devices that you bring in that extension cord and you can just use one converter to plug that extension cord into the socket that you have at your residence. Now, as you can see, all the extension cord and the converter that I'm using, I have put them up on the screen and also their link in the description below. So do check them out. Now, one more savior for a lot of my devices also has been this EU adapter. Now, obviously this is for an Apple product. So if you do own an Apple product, I would highly suggest to buy one or two of these EU adapters. I have also put them down in the description below. With this, you don't need any converter. Just take out the old plug, put in the new one, and you can use it in the sockets present here. Now, extending this category to the school, I'm sure that a lot of students want to use iPads and other tablets to take notes in school. But a lot of people still prefer the physical pen and paper. Now, for those people, I would recommend getting a few notebooks and registers back from home along with the stationery, of course, because this is a little expensive over here in France. I personally took notes on my iPad my whole year, but some of my professors had a strict no digital device in the classroom policy, so I had to resort back to the physical pen and paper. But obviously, having the iPad was really big help, taking notes, signing forms and documents, reading books, everything at one place. I'm even thinking about making a video uh, like iPad for school, so if you're interested in something like that, do let me know in the comments below. Yeah, coming back to the video, yeah, I do recommend getting a few notebooks back from home. Now let's move on to the clothing and apparel section. Now a lot in this section will depend upon where you're coming from. If you're coming from a place where you have decent amount of winters, then definitely you would have winter clothes. In this case, I would recommend just pack light. One or two sweaters, one or two hoodies, maybe thermals if you want. But if you're coming from a place where you don't have decent amount of winters, I would suggest not to buy a lot of winter clothes. And the reason is after you come here, you would want to shop here. And especially if you're coming in August or September, you would have a Black Friday sale just one or two months down the line. And then you would definitely want to buy something here. So yeah, get a few winter clothes, but not too much. Apart from that, obviously the basics, one or two uh, sets of formal wear for when you are interviewing for your uh, job, uh, one or two traditional wear for uh, the uh, festivals, and then obviously five to six, seven, eight, whatever floats your boat, number of uh, casual wear for when you're going to school, for when you're going out to Paris or any other country in Europe, or just vacationing around. And yeah, to finish off this section, uh, I guess a pair of slippers, uh, a pair of formal shoes, your sports shoes, uh, running shoes, anything that you have a specific requirement for and then your casual sneakers for everyday use. And obviously to go with that at least 476 pairs of socks. Now if you're getting the welcome kit here at ESSEC, you will get a bed sheet in that uh, welcome kit but I would still suggest get one back from home. The second most convenient option is to get it from IKEA after coming here. I think it costs about 8 euros per bed sheet. Now let's move on to the next section, the kitchen. Uh, now the first thing that I would recommend everyone here is a cooker. Now it becomes so much easier to cook anything uh, when you have a decent sized cooker. Unfortunately, one that I have is a bit small, but yeah, get something bigger. And then uh, since I purchased the welcome kit, I got uh, a pan, a teapot, uh, four plates, uh, some spoons, forks, butter knives, 
and mugs. Even if you don't get uh, the welcome kit uh, from the residents, you have a store nearby where you can go and buy stuff and obviously you can go to IKEA and get them. Uh, but you don't want this hassle on the day that you arrive. So my suggestion would be to definitely get the welcome kit for the convenience if your residence has one. Uh, now coming to this, um, obviously this might seem insignificant at this moment, uh, but uh, this is very important, this is very helpful. Uh, two of these a friend of mine got uh, from India, but uh, this one I bought here and um, I even use uh, some of these under my table uh, to keep my wires um, intact. And yeah, get these for sure, these are super helpful. Now, af uh, now after this, let's move on to the uh, important section in the kitchen. Uh, Sorry for the mess uh, beforehand. Uh, if you, uh, if like me, you like to cook uh, food at home, you obviously have to bring stuff back from home that will help you. And um, in this case, it will differ depending upon what you usually cook and what you want to cook. For me, the non-negotiable stuff were, uh, was basically the masalas. So, uh, so whatever fits in this category for you, get some of it. Uh, there are stores here uh, that will obviously um, have all of this stuff. I've personally been to these stores. Uh, there's an area called Gardunod, where you get all the Indian stuff, 99% of what you see here in this video, you will be able to get here in France, in Paris, in some store or the other. But uh, my whole point is um, you should not come with the attitude that you will buy everything here in France, you will buy everything here in Paris. So even if you want to do that, do that after a couple of months for the initial uh, a uh, few months get stuff back from india so that you can focus on other stuff you can focus on starting school you can focus on the administrative processes that are important over here so yeah get stuff back from home uh, now coming to the apply uh, now coming to the appliances i did not get anything uh, from home uh, there was a few uh, there were a few things that i was considering uh, an electric kettle uh, a blender but i decided that other stuff was more important and so i brought that instead uh, I got the blender here from Amazon and I think it was 20 euros and it has just worked fine for the last eight months. Um, I have never had the use of an electric kettle so I guess that was indeed a good decision. Um, and a few other items that you can think about uh, getting from India, again personal preferences, uh, uh, maybe uh, ghee or clarified butter, some seasoning, oregano, chili flakes maybe. And just for the initial days, again, you can buy all of it here. This is just for the convenience part for the initial few weeks or months. Uh, if you're actually wondering how I shot this, uh, I actually took a video of the entire space, the, the room, the kitchen and everything. And I'm playing that video right now on the screen. That is why I'm looking again and again. And whatever video is popping up on the screen, I'm just talking about uh, what is there in the, uh, in the segment. Um, yeah, so coming to uh, the miscellaneous category now, um, I had a couple of things that I wanted to bring, uh, like this Deathly Hello sign from Harry Potter. I bought this during uh, Comic Con and I love it, so I got that. Um, a few physical books, um, a pair of sunglasses, other things that I have been collecting over the years. Um, obviously, you need to be very cautious with this stuff uh, because this can take a, a lot of space if you decide to bring a lot of it. And um, so, yeah, decide wisely. Um, and um, apart from that, yeah, my parents obviously um, uh, got me a lot of stuff, different stuff, uh, um, like two, three tubes of tooth, uh, toothpaste, uh, four, five bars of different soaps, different kinds, bottle of shampoo, conditioner, a bunch of toiletries, and it did take up uh, some space, but um, it was uh, nice to have something on the day when my uh, usual toiletries were over. It was maybe at night or in the evening. I didn't want to go to the store, so I had the support supplies there so it was nice something uh, maybe you can consider maybe not on this uh, scale maybe a few maybe add something maybe subtract something but yeah I do think about this and uh, and yeah one thing you can actually think about uh, getting is some hair oil because that is something a little hard to get your hands on over here and uh, because of the weather the the dryness your scalp tends to uh, become very dry so yeah do uh, do get hair oil and yeah, do make sure that you get some medicines back from home. Um, you Obviously, you can get the medicines here as well, but sometimes you just know that in this particular scenario, this is the medicine that works best for you. And you might not be 
able to find it uh, over here so for those scenarios obviously get something uh, tried and tested back from home i got a few strips of medicines uh, for all the all the possible ailments like a headache or a muscle pain or so yeah do get some medicines back from home uh, for the bad days and if you need a special prescription for a few, uh, some kinds of medicines yeah don't forget to get uh, the prescription as well and just a little disclaimer over here <clears throat> even though after coming here you will be applying for a social security number and uh, <clears throat> you will go through that process i would highly recommend uh, go to your doctor over there back at home get yourself checked up go to the dentist uh, go to your eye 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 doctor if you have a uh, power get it checked get uh, another pair or uh, two three pairs of uh, your glasses so that if you uh, break it over here if you lose it you have a replacement and yeah just get your get yourself checked because after coming here it you will have to figure out the social security you will apply first you'll get a temporary social security so you will have some time uh, to figure out all of this stuff so i would suggest get yourself checked before coming here back at home where you're comfortable with all of this stuff <clears throat> and obviously in this miscellaneous category some food was uh, there as well um, uh, i think i got um, a few packets of kellogg's muesli and a bunch of um, other ready to eat items that my parents got and this was obviously just for the few days uh, if i don't end up going to the grocery store or if i'm being lazy or if i just want to eat food back from home and yeah obviously i got myself a few uh, maggi packets you do get them here as well now and it's just it's actually very close to the residence um but yeah i did get them uh, for um, the days when i don't want to go to the grocery store <clears throat> I guess as far as I can remember I have uh, laid out pretty much everything if I do uh, remember anything uh, during the edit of the video I will put it up on the screen and uh, for all those missing items and all the ones that I have talked so far um, I will be putting up a summary list just after a few seconds um, so have a look pause if you want take a screenshot and yeah get packing So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, do make sure to send it to your friends who are also about to start their international student life away from home. And do consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video because this will help shove this video in front of other people's faces and just support the channel a lot. If you haven't already, you can follow me on Instagram to know about my life here in France. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.